it is a miracle of nature. It speaks to us in the language of eternity. Born of water, it waits a lifetime for the one moment to sprout wings and to soar into the sun, into the moon, into the cavernous splendor of reproductive need. It is the mayfly. It comes but once. And so it was with the one known as Richie Sexton, the Yankee Mayfly. This week's It Is High, It Is Far, Yankeeography. When it's my moment in the sun Oh, how beautiful I'll be But in a normal sort of way Like I am you, and you are me. It goes by the strange and rather kinky name of Saxon. Little is known of his origin. Some say he stems from the great northwest, where the sequoias testify to his six-foot, eight-inch, rock-ribbed frame. Some say he comes from Milwaukee, and some say Cleveland, and some say Tinseltown the starlit paved streets of Hollywood itself. A few even believe he descended from the stars, a messenger, to warn mankind about the danger of a failed Yankee franchise. He is nicknamed Richie. At great expense, it is high commissioned good men to uncover the pre-Yankee life of Richmond, Lockwood, Sexton. Amazingly, they found no record of the man's existence until the day, July 19, 2008. On that day, the giant ambles into the Yankee clubhouse to immediately be hailed as the tallest position player in New York history. He towers over his frightened new teammates, who fear the ectomorphic presence of the stranger, whose easygoing smile could belie a bat designed for vengeance. And so begins the Mayfly's bloom. Over the next 27 days, Richie anchors the Yankee infield, offering to friends the healing balm that can only come from a huge, hulking mystery Goliath with no evidence of past fossil record. No one asks what Richie has done before. They know that one does not question the nature of nature. On his first game, Richie collects a base hit, driving in the elusive Bobby Abreu. He goes one for three with a walk, but, unfortunately, he strikes out. An ominous development. Then comes the day, August 5th, 2008. The place, rural Texas. Richie comes to bat with the game seemingly out of reach. The pitcher rears and hurls, and then children across the world began to sing. Now the 0-1. Swung on. There is a long drive to left center. It is high. It is far. It is gone. It's a grand slam. Richie Sexton hit one away back in the left center field bleachers. About 425 feet away. A grand slam for Sexton and the Yankees trail 8-6. It is the moment of the Yankee Mayfly, the zenith of life, the peak of ecstasy. And ten days later, it comes to an end. On that day, Richie Sexton disappears back to from wherever he came. Some say he is designated for assignment. Some say he is waived and that he will turn up elsewhere in the universe where some teammates need a giant. But around their watchfires, the ancient shamans tell a different story. They tell of a spirit who roamed the earth for one magic Yankee month, batting 250 in 22 games. They tell of the mayfly who dreamed his wings were pinstriped, and then found his dream had come true. For he shall forever be Richie Sexton, the Yankee mayfly. This week's Yankeeography.